Hello and welcome back to Chef Wannabe's Life. Today I'm sharing four Dollar Tree Halloween crafts. I hope that you enjoy them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you're notified every single time that I upload. I hope you enjoy these little Halloween crafts. First I'm working on shirts. Now, you're supposed to use the Dollar Tree t-shirts. My Dollar Tree didn't have any in the size I needed. So they say use 100% cotton. Well, that didn't bode well for me either. So you'll see that I did a green, an orange, and a purple originally, but that will see at the end. You'll see at the end that turns into the green and then two black ones. You will take bleach in a squirt bottle and you're going to put down a wooden image that you can get at Dollar Tree and you're going to spray that bleach. Now, some people dilute their bleach, I did not. Just make sure you do it somewhere well ventilated and where things are protected that you don't want to be bleached. And also, a lot of times you can see the change in color right away. I could not, as a matter of fact, mine took hours to show the different, the discoloration, I guess. But they are super fun and I can't wait to get them off in the mail. This one took slightly, but not well enough. So I ended up having to do, redo two of them in black. Three times to the store for three sets of t-shirts. It was a fantastic day. And this Wicked one I think would be really cute even if you were going to like the musical or you liked the musical Wicked. I thought it would be really fun too. And I also pumped on the bottle really slow so I would get some bigger drops because I liked the look of that. But it seems everybody was doing these this year because there were no t-shirts to be found. Make sure that your little wooden decorative pieces are down flat so that you don't have any spillover and that's how they came out. Next we're going to do a tray. I have this infamous charcuterie board that I do for Halloween and I needed something for old meat face to sit on. And I just thought just a fun Halloween-y tray would be really fun. This is so easy. I, I'm not sure why I put glue there at the beginning, but I just got a package of the plastic eyeballs and I put them on so it was kind of like the tray was on legs and I really wanted them to be seen so I did two of them. So it was a little bit higher and you could see the eyeballs. I just did this on all four corners, obviously. And make sure too that you get your eyeballs like straight up and down. I had to redo one corner of mine because they kind of flared out a little bit. And it'll sit even, but it just looks a little wonky. This is just, this would be fun to serve anything on for Halloween or, or anything like that. Maybe even a little centerpiece on it would be fun too. This depends on how you like to decorate for the holiday. Some people are more into gruesome, some are more into the cutesy stuff. And some of us just do mostly fall with a little Halloween sprinkled in that I can just take out after Halloween. But this turned out really, really cute. If you watched my last video with the three um, fun but gross uh, Halloween treats, then you'll see where I use this for my meat face.
And there it is. Next is going to be a table runner. And these little placemats come with one side, they're kind of outlined in glitter, and the other side they're not. You can choose whatever side you want. This is literally a, like a five minute craft, like a real one, not like that fake YouTube channel. I just use a little piece of orange ribbon. I wanted the glitter side up because my inner seven year old wanted that. I use my little piece of ribbon just to hold them together and some hot glue. Excuse the very loud cars outside today. The one day I decide to voice over in my living room is like super loud. Just make sure they're touching each other and then right where the pumpkins come together is where you can place your little ribbon and if it's too long, just trim it off. I've had this on my table for probably two weeks now. And I actually really like it better than I thought I was going to. And then I'll change out to my other runner after Halloween. Which, in my opinion, this could be for Halloween and Thanksgiving. For sure. Use this for if you have to do two tables at Thanksgiving for all of your company and all of that. You could use this as a runner down another table. And it's super easy to fold up and store away. Now this one took a little longer, mostly because I'm sometimes just not with it. This is an old sign I didn't use anymore. And so I took it apart, pulled out all of the staples, and I wanted to repurpose it, mostly because I wanted the arrow signs. I picked up a bunch of different letters, some that I had, I picked some new ones up. And I had like a long stake that I actually had holding up a plant, a plant tied to, and I got that out. And then I got these painted. I think I did white, maybe purple and orange. I'm really sorry about the light going constantly wonky in this. I have no idea what that's about, but I will be, I will be doing my best to fix that. Look at me using my, my art skills mixing colors over there. Who am I even? The purple I picked up at Dollar Tree and that was a mess, but anyway, we, we got her done after a fashion. Add too much white, add more purple, add more purple, dab it on, swipe it on, paint it on, dab it on. Yeah, that's how that went. See, I'm not even lying. And I decided what I wanted each of these little street signs to say. And then I used the stickers for that. The backs I knew I was just going to throw a quick coat of white paint on. I didn't even sand down the glitter that was on them or anything. So here we go. Now keep in mind that I am going to be spraying a clear coat over the top of these. I wanted Boo Boulevard here, but I didn't think it was all going to fit, so I believe I changed it out to Boo Avenue, which reminds me of, we gotta rock down to Electric Avenue, and then it'll take you higher. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry. And one set of these stickers that I used, really this one, the white ones, you can color them in any color you want them. I should have left them black and white because I colored them in 
And when I sprayed them with the clear coat, it made everything run. <laughs> so I really, really toyed with whether I was gonna show this to you guys or not. I, but I did, because you know what? Sometimes things mess up and you still use them anyway because they're still cute. I gotta get better at these videos where I'm doing all these different little projects because oof, it stressed me out. Here we have Boo Avenue. We have Scary Street, Boo Avenue, and then I wanted Witch's Way. I actually wanted Hocus Pocus Highway, and probably if I had written that, I would have had enough. But I decided just to handwrite Witch's Way, which, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But I wanted them all to look different anyway, so... You know, I always think it's so weird to watch people that are left-handed write. And then I watched myself, and I was like, ooh, that is really weird. But, anyway, just an observation. It looks so awkward, doesn't it? I messed up my C. I ended up having to paint over it, which you'll see in a minute. And then what I am going to do is use that that stick. See here, I'm painting these. Sorry, I'm all over. It, it has been it has been like a Twilight Zone day. And look how that one looks blue, and these look like aqua. And I'm actually using just like plain old green. Weird. I'm going to just use some Gorilla Glue to hold these on to the post. And then I use just some Dollar Tree little um, fairy lights to kind of wrap around it. And I love how it looks out there. It's adorable. I also decide to do black around these, which I royally messed up because Oh, you guys. Some days are just like that. So there we go. Gorilla glue them on, and I just kind of wanted them, you know, a little this way, that way. I did also use just a little bit of hot glue on top just so it would initially hold well. This was the project right before my glue gun died. And which is way, and here we go. And with the little lights outside, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Please, again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, do not forget to eat good food. Bye, everybody.